Welcome everybody. My name is Colton from Zim2 Capital. Today I'm here with CEO Nick Rodway from Core Assets Corp to discuss the latest news release today, December 21st. Hi, Nick. Uh, welcome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. How are you doing today? Good, good. Glad to have you here. Uh, so we'll just jump right into it. The first question, how would you summarize the significance of this morning's uh, news release? Well, uh, at Core Assets Project, the Blue Property, which is located near Atlin, BC, our project has a lot of superficial mineralization. So we're very lucky, uh, first of all, to been able to come upon a discovery like that at surface. And basically what we're, we are doing here throughout the winter is we are continuing to build all of our geologic layers um, that we have looked at on other major projects in the world. And we're bringing those ideas back to our own project and also tailoring it uh, to fit our model because every, every deposit is unique. Um, and we're, we're thinking that we are sitting on something that is unique for BC's Stikine terrain. So what we have done is uh, we did a series of uh, petro petrography samples, which is basically using a microscope to be able to look at cryptic features that you, the naked eye would not be able to see. And it helps you uh, understand the formation of your deposit. And you can basically use that in comparisons to larger deposits in the world and make uh, comparisons and, and basically validate uh, what you have been seeing in the field. Because what you see in the field is not always what you see when you get back to a laboratory. So what we have been seeing right now is that our zoning patterns and our textures, what we're seeing in the rock is very indicative of a, of a large system. And these samples were taken over a 6.6 .6 kilometer by 1.8 kilometer area which is considered a very, very large uh, superficial mineralized area. And again, when I say mineralization and superficial expression, I do mean that massive sulfide occurs over 6.6 .6 by 1.8 kilometers. Wow. Um, so you mentioned what was done was petrographic analysis. Maybe you could just explain what that is a little bit more in detail. So basically what we're doing is we're, we use microscope to zoom in on the mineralogical uh, attributes of, of the rock. So in the field, uh, we can use a visa hand lens, which uh, generally is only about 20 times, uh, 10 to 20 times magnification. Um, our microscopes can increase that uh, tenfold, basically. And uh, we can look in and we can, we can basically use different uh, reflective light techniques to identify and, and uh, confirm the mineralization that we're seeing. And with that, we can confirm the relationship of the minerals, which minerals came in first, which ones came in last, are the, is a replacement. And these key features are very, very common in, in large deposits. So if you can have a large sample size of deposits that have, say, a, a pyrotype being replaced by pyrite, and your deposit also does that, then uh, you know, it's another box you can check uh, to, to confirm that you are indeed heading in the right direction. And again, with, with core assets, it's, it's basically, we're trying to build as many layers we can uh, in, in the winter season here while, while it's the downtime, so we can be more accurate and precise with our drill hole uh, locations for the 2022 season. So with this news release, what part of it indicates the large CRD system? Uh, so specifically, I mean, like I said, we, we, do, we can see our mineralization at surface and with these types of deposits, you're basically trying to either uh, track from the manto side, which is the massive sulfide zinc lead side of the system, back to the porphyry source, which is where the intrusion uh, would be located, or you're looking at the copper molybdenum side, which would be the, the porphyry intrusion side, and you're trying to track back to the manto. Um, so, so right now, just again, without our petrography at all, we are seeing visually a lot of sulfide at surface, and uh, with, with the textures that we are seeing here, they're very indicative of, a, of a, large, a large system. And we are going to continue to try to pinpoint the ultimate goal is to find that intrusion. So I also noticed in the news release something about drilling. Maybe you could talk about the future after, after this news release. What's, what's next? So I guess, uh, I mean, the question would be, I mean, what does, what does success look like, I guess, for us in, in, in the coming months um, with regards to drilling and whatnot? And, and it's quite simply to tap into this massive sulfide uh, that is occurring in the Montos um, over the 6.6 .6 kilometer radius. We want, we'd like to tap into it. 
um, and in the subsurface, obviously. And then if you can tap into these things at surface, they should be continuous back to the source um, as, as in the model, geologic model that we've been using. So yeah, ultimate goal is to just intercept what we could see at surface below surface, um, get further confirmation on, on our, our grades that we're getting, which are, are quite high. And when I say high, I'm, I'm talking, you know, uh, plus 100 plus grams per ton silver and, you know, 30, 30% zinc lead combined. We also have uh, bismuth uh, credit in there as well, uh, gold and copper as well. So it's, it's polymetallic. And uh, right now the, the system is looking very rich at surface. So the goal is to continue to track it back to the pork resource. Great. Well, I think everybody's watching the results and we'll obviously keep everybody updated as this moves along. Is there anything else you wanted to mention before we let you go? Uh, no, I mean, we, we still have a lot of, uh, a lot of news pending. Uh, we have our channel sampling, uh, which will be broken up into one to three different news releases, uh, depending on how that information comes back and, and what manner. Um, and then we'll just be continuing to do our, our desktop studies and planning for our our season, which should start late May, early June of 2022. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Nick. This has been great. And I think everybody's excited to see what's coming. Um, you can obviously fo follow Nick on uh, Core Assets website. There's the Facebook channel, social media, all of that. Um, thanks for coming, Nick. Thanks for having me. Have a good one. Bye.